What else have you seen? Tell me about the other places that you visited. You've, you've, you've talked to um, high school students. You've also been to the, the preschool that you mentioned in um, the lunch that you had at the preschool. You saw the menu anyway. Yeah, today we went to um, one of the probably most modern high schools in the country. It's sort of located uh, in eastern Helsinki. And it's a very, very modern building. It's a really impressive high school. Um, super modern, everything's like stainless steel and color blocking and uh, a lot nicer than the high school that I went to and arguably of like a lot of high schools in Finland too. I mean, they know that it's one of the most modern high schools in the country. Um, and what's interesting about it is it's also one of the 12 teacher training high schools in the country. Um, the Finns have a very, very unique teacher training system, which is uh, part of why they're credited for having one of the best education systems in the world. It's because they train um, world-class teachers. And it, it's very hard to become a teacher. It takes a very long time, um, anywhere between five and six years of education before you're actually in a classroom working with students. And this is one of the few schools in the country that will take teachers um, while they're going through that education and give them some real classroom experience while they're going through that education. But yeah, no, there's there's a lot of trust there between like the teacher-student relationship in Finland. Um, you know, the students might be trusted to sort of do their homework on their own. There isn't a lot of monitoring, but there isn't a lot of monitoring on teachers as, as well. I mean, they're observed, um, but for the most part, there's this student-teacher relationship, which is, is really important, is really worked on in the classroom. Tell me just also about Finland itself. Is it, I don't know what it, whether it's cold there, whether it's, um, are, are you getting, you know, what are the hours of daylight, that kind of stuff. I know you've been busy the whole time, but um, just tell me a little bit about actually being in the country. It's very different. Um, it's been kind of nice, though, because I keep getting mistaken for Finnish, so that's <laughs> enjoyable, because uh, I guess I kind of look Nordic to them. So uh, I, I love it here. I think it's really cool. It, it's very cold right now. It's like 35, 40 degrees, so it feels like wintertime. I know it's warm in Washington, D.C. It's maybe like 70, I've heard. Um, when I'm wearing my winter coat, everybody's really cold. Um, everybody's very happy. Everybody's very friendly. Um, they, it's located right next to the sea, so there's a lot of seafood, uh, and it, it's very international. Um, pretty much everybody that I've spoken to here speaks English. Uh, you know, like I might walk into like a store or a restaurant and someone starts speaking to me in Finnish, and I might have I picked up on some like couple welcoming phrases in the past couple of days, but then I'm like, oh no, I'm American. I don't know what you just said because it's, it's a very complicated language. I have no idea how anybody ever comes to understand that or learn that initially it's super super complicated um but you start to pick up on it slowly everyone's very nice though 